Hi everyone! I am back with a new journal I would like to share with you. This is another one of the second hand books I like to pick up every now and then. They are just the, my favorite kinds of covers to work with. I just like using old books, leaving the covers as, as they are mostly. Uh, I sometimes add book corners, but not always, but leave them as they are most of the time. Just take out the text block and put new signatures in. Um, this one measures four and three quarters by seven and three quarters. The inch, uh, this, the inch, <laughs> the spine is roughly an inch wide. The journal has three signatures and I used a hidden binding technique again. The inside is as usual. I like to do that recently. Just a variation of different papers. Um, writing paper, like lined paper and grid paper, gift wrapping paper, some calendar pages and all that sort of stuff. I have some pretty packaging paper, um, gift wrapping paper. On the inside covers, they this one happens to have some da Vinci sketches and notes on. Here's a pretty scene that matched the colors of the cover. Sort of rusty bronze um, tones like the orange gift wrapping paper. There's a page from an old nature guide. I thought the, the teal and green kind of matched nicely as well. There's some pattern paper. I think this one is by Studio Light. They make really pretty, pretty papers. Some paper strips. A calendar page. I folded over the excess to create a side pocket and have a little booklet of old planner, planner paper. Some lined paper, there's a piece of pattern paper with a picture. There's a that's a pattern paper. There's some more pattern paper with a street map. There's some machine stitching every now and then. Here's more of that Da Vinci paper. There's a tiny little tag and another piece of like a little booklet. There is a page from an outdated calendar. I folded over the excess of that too, because it has the time. Um, you can actually plan something on this, you just have to um, update the date. <laughs> some packaging paper, some more um, writing paper. I got these from, actually they're like school exercise books. I picked them up at the office supply store and there's like the, the handwriting ones and the, the kind of tall rectangular grid and the, I don't know what that is really. Looks like a, like a register or something. And then there's the big, the bigger grid. Um, I just take out the staples and I can use the whole sheet as it comes out and I just have to cut it to size if it's too big and if it's too small I just don't really care. I love this tree. It just looks so awesome. There's some postcards in a pocket that I stitched on. Here, there's a little flip booklet made with leftover paper. Uh, 
I perforated um, this picket shape piece with the sewing machine so you could actually tear it off if you wanted to. There's that pretty pattern paper. I didn't want to turn that into a pocket because I thought maybe someone wants to, you know, just enjoy the whole spread and do something with it. There's another one of those nature. This this book doesn't really have a, a theme as such. It is slightly like nature nature orientated. It has some like landscape scenes and the and the book pages from the from the um, nature book. But it also has to do with like places. Like this um, this is also gift wrapping paper that has little images of buildings and it's about Italy, but <coughs> excuse me. There's another uh, ticket that could be taken off. Another calendar page. This one has a sneaky little slide in slot for a long piece of note paper. There's some butterfly paper page from one of my flower guides. It's another pocket with some postcard images. I cut some of them down because like this one for instance, um, the other half of it or another piece of it is actually somewhere else in this journal and it had a sort of uh, like inspirational quote on it that I just didn't want to have in this in this particular journal so I found a way to just trim the pieces down and use it as much as possible without having to have the quote I can use the quote for something else where it matches but it just didn't really fit in here so I, I just cut it down I like this image very much too has all the colors that are kind of in this like the coppery leaves and the and the green teal the, the brown tones I like this color combination a lot there's some belly bands there's another one of those two little planner booklets and another piece of postcard journals are really mostly for writing in or for drawing in if whoever um, ends up owning it decides to you know add paper clips or add more pockets to it and they, they totally can they just they didn't want to overwhelm whoever gets to use it with with too much stuff there's another planner piece. And this is from a small chocolate box. The colors I like. I like the color and it's so nice and shiny. More butterfly paper. I'm gonna be very upset when I'm running out of this. I don't know where it came from. I think it's gift wrapping paper. The background is matte and the butterflies are like glossy. And it's just so beautiful. But I don't know from when it was or where it was bought. I have no idea. Oh, it was gifted to me. A 
I love this house paper as well. Some more gorgeous trees and a pretty postcard with a rose. Here's another ticket piece that could be ripped off and used. I love this one too. So much pretty paper. Sometimes I forget how much paper I actually have until I go rummage through all my shelves and drawers and stacks and just find all of the All of the nice stuff that I have. I'm hoarding a lot, of course. I'm a hoarder, I admit it. <laughs> I don't like using the particularly nice things, but then, like, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying very hard um, not to keep stuff for too long or forever and just think I am not missing it while I'm not using it, so I can hardly miss it when I'm using it, so very much trying to use all the nice stuff that I have. There's another one of the leftover paper pads. And there's the back of it. I think this will probably get uh, an elastic loop that can be taken off, although it, it settled nicely, at least when it's lying down. Um, I think I need to go back to pressing my signatures before I stitch them in. I think that might help. <laughs> but it got quite full, actually. Um, even though I try not to make them too full and leave enough room for the owners to, you know, add their own stuff. So... That was it. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye.